Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will talk about Microsoft Power BI. What are the visuals that are used in Power BI? Out of so many visuals, which are the important visuals that we should use in our dashboards? We will talk about that. All right, so you can see there is a visualization panel in the right. You can see there are so many visual options all across. You can select line chart, stack bar chart, you can select bar, a map, or you can select a table, or you can select a matrix, right? So there are so many visuals. Then there, are, there is a three dot. You can get more visuals if you select over here. So there is a market of visuals. You can select any visual as per the requirement. So let's say, before going ahead, I would just like to walk you through the data that I already have in this particular Power BI, right? So I'll go to the data tab. You can see I have a table with number of rows like 3,31,222, right? So first column is customer name. You can have, you can see so many customers are there, right? So distinct customer you can see is 3,617. And then second column is sales channel. There are predominantly two channels, general trade and modern trade. Then invoice ID, number of quantities sold. What is the sales price? What are the item codes? sold what is the category i have category as category one two three four and five. five five categories are there so what is my invoice date what is the sales profit city build state build district and what is the country as of now in this particular data i have the data for india only right so now we have a fair understanding of the table now let's get some visuals created all right so first of all i'll just walk you through data in which we can create bar charts and column charts. So what is the basic difference between bar charts and column charts? So bar charts are those charts where the line is horizontal, right? And column charts are those where the line is vertical. So for example, I'll create one bar chart and I'll create one column chart so that you can see the difference for the same particular KPI. So I will take state versus sales. So if I just click on state and I'll click on sales, Okay, so table has been selected. So let me just select the horizontal chart. This is bar chart. Then now this is vertical chart. All right, so now I will select again state and sales. So see, you can see one is horizontally depicted, one is vertically depicted, but the data is showing same, right? You can see this is my state by sales again here it is state wise sales number one is west bengal number one is west bengal number two is bihar number two is bihar then karnataka you can see the data is same but the way of representation is different so bar charts are those where the line is horizontal column charts are those where the lines are vertical so left one is bar chart right one is column chart now we come to the question what is stacked chart and what is clustered chart so you can see if I hover over here, you can see this is tagged bar chart. If I hover here, this is tagged column chart. If I hover over here, this is clustered bar chart. So there is a difference between stacked chart and clustered chart. Now you know the difference between bar and column. Now let's see the difference between cluster and stacked. All right, so let's take this example column chart. All right, so now I have to see, for example, uh, with state I take district as well but it will not depict properly because there are there would be so less sales for a particular district as compared to the state right so it is not showing properly let's take sales price in sum of sales right so we can do for in focus mode as well so you can see this is my stack chart in stack chart there would be only one line but in one line there would be two depiction for example in light blue you can see this is my sum of sales in dark blue it is sum of sales price right sales price would be very less according to like as compared to the sales definitely so you can see there is a huge difference but right now this is not making sense 
but it is useful in some of the cases if you want to let's say see what is my contribution from male versus contribution from female and you want to see in one particular line so you can use this particular chart right so you can use stacked but if you want to you know plan target versus achievement what was my target and what is my achievement then for that particular case you have to use clustered charts right so in clustered you will see bar versus bar so let's say if i want to use cluster chart i can just directly click here and you will get cluster chart so if i do it in focus mode you will see there are two bars or you can say two columns first column is showing sum of sales second column is showing sum of sales price right so this is how you can use bar charts column charts and again in bar and column you can use stacked versus clustered i hope this is clear so now moving ahead i will just show you line chart what is line chart how it is used so this is line chart so if i click on the line chart so this will give me one chart now i have to drag and drop from my table so let's say i want to analyze data as per the district so i'll just click on the district again i'll select on the sales part right so this is how it is showing but generally line chart is favorable when you are doing it on time time series for maybe month wise is it increasing decreasing year on year is it increase or decreasing so let's say if i remove district and i include my invoice date so in invoice date you can see hierarchy as well for example if i click on invoice date so it is this is how it is showing but i want to see this on month on month so i will delete year i will delete quarter i will delete day so we'll see month on month so you can see uh, from january to february it increased from february to march it decreased from march to april may june the sales was skyrocketing but then from june to july it was almost same then july to august it decreased from august to september it increased so and so forth so this is how you can see the pattern of the sales increasing or decreasing through line charts all right so now moving ahead to pie chart and donut chart so first of all i'll tell you what is pie chart and donut chart and what is the difference between the two first let's click on pie chart this is the pie chart right in pie chart i can show the market share but in this case i only have the data for my particular company so what i can do is i can show the contribution of each category right so for example i have five categories i'll select category right then i'll select sales so this will show me what is the contribution of each category so according to this number 1 is purple one this is category 4 category 4 is 33.72% contribution second is 18% this is category 2 then there is category 1 which is 17.38% then category 3 which is contributing 17% and finally there is category 5 which is contributing 13.63% so you can see overall how much each of the category is contributing this is a very useful tip tool you can use so that you, your dashboard looks really classy and useful and the storytelling is improvised again if i just go ahead with donut chart how we will create that i'll click on donut chart all right same if i want to do for category versus sales let's see what is the difference that it creates all right so if you see overall the pattern is same if uh, the contribution has to be there it will be same for category 4 the contribution in pie chart is 33.72 in donut also it, it is 33.72 for category 2 the contribution was 18.27 for donut also it is 18.27% so this is just a different representation of the data donut chart can be used if you have summation and you want to show what is the total of this you can show that in the center right also if you have categories more than 4 or 5 you should use pie chart and if you have categories of let's say 2 or 3 or 4 then you can use pie chart uh, donut chart that will help you to you know visualize it better otherwise there is no difference functionality wise all right coming to data card and multi cards so what is data what is data card 
So let's say I want to show what is my total sales for that particular period. So for that I need a data card. So this is a data card. I want to show the numbers. So I'll just click on sales. So this will show me what is my total sales. So now you can beautify this. You can make aesthetically make colorful background font then borders and all that will look really classy. But right now we are focusing on the functionality, how it works. Right. So if we talk about this data card, you can see what is my sum of sales. If you want to change the uh, like logic of this, for example, you want to show value as as percentage of grand total. I'll click here. You'll see this is 100 percent. Right. If you want to show, let's say, count of all the sales that has happened, I'll just click here and uh, show value as no calculation. So you'll see count of sales. So roughly 10,000 uh, sales have happened uh, in this case. Right. So you want to see standard deviation. You can see that. So it depends on your requirements. You can use any kind of calculation. Currently, I'll just use sum of sales. Right. So this is my data card. Now, if I want to use a multi card, this is multi row card. So what is the use of multi row card? So if you if I want to have like multiple cards at one place, I can use multi row card, but you can use multiple data cards also. But if you have that particular tendency that I want to have one particular data at one place, you can use multi row card. For example, I want to have sales data. I want to have quantity sold. I want to see the profits. Then I want to see sales price. Right. And then I want to see the count of customer name. So I'll just click on customer name and distinct count. Right. So this is a data card. You can see at one place you can have all the calculations. You can make it vertically as well. Right now it is horizontal. You can make it vertically as well. All right. So now we have understood what is data card and what is multi card. Now let's move on to map charts. In Power BI, in default, there are two options for map chart. First is this map. If you hover towards the right side, this is field map. So let's first understand map chart. All right. So now I just need to drag the state field because this is one with the geography. Then I want to see all these states on the basis of sales. So I'll just click on sales as well. As you can see these bubbles, the size of these bubbles are on the basis of sales. The larger the bubble, the bigger or greater the sales are in that particular region. If I want to do it in the focus mode, you will see my one of the biggest contributor is West Bengal. Maybe second best is Bihar or let's say Karnataka. You can see then Assam is there. Then all these small, small bubbles are there. In this, you can customize all these bubbles. You can color, change the color according to your needs. If you want to color one particular region, for example, East region, you want to color with red, then South region in green, then North region in blue, whatever is your requirement. If you want to cluster, you want to make a cluster, you can do that. So this is very useful. All right. In this, if I go to formatting section, you can see this is the map setting. In this, there are various styles. So currently default road is shown. I can click on aerial, you will see the aerial view of this map. If I click on dark, you will see the dark version. You will see all the focus things, right? This also looks good in some of the dashboards. If I click on light, it is more or less similar to road. Then grayscale is slightly grayish. All right. So this is how you can create the map in this on the basis of any other field also you can create. For example, I have created here state versus the sum of sales. So bubble size is on the basis of sum of sales. If I say the bubble size should be on the basis of profit, then I will just select this. But I think there is an empty uh, profit, so there won't be any change. All right, guys, I hope you like this video on basics of Power BI. I worked on various visuals which are very basic. If you are interested in Power BI, SQL or any basics or concepts related to data analytics, please let me know in the comments below. 
and if you are new to this channel please do subscribe if you feel this kind of content is really helpful for you all right guys thanks a lot for watching